What is up, guys? It is John and the Game Master Guys here. Hey, guys, I'm Sparkster28. And welcome back to another part of the Sonic Mania Retrospective. So last time we have completed Chemical Plant and outsmarted Eggman with um, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Yeah, real surprising to see that in the game. Man, that, that, was, that was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> now... <clears throat> Now here in this part, we actually have finally reached an original zone. Funny, which is pretty cool. Yep. And and here, this was actually one of the first uh, revealed zones that was in um, back at the um, the 25th anniversary party. And and what I gotta say about the zone is that it this is I want to say it's like one of my favorites, but just I'll, get, I'll I'll say it's one of my favorites based on the creativity it has because I don't think I've seen any Sonic stage that actually has like the um, Hollywood type of thing, you know. But. Yeah, it, the, the zone kind of reminds me also of the casino levels, but yeah, this is more, uh, this this is more like I said, you, like you said, more Hollywood based. Yeah, you know, light camera action, and then just filled a bunch of Sega Easter eggs that you guys can find around here. Some are pretty like well hidden, and some are like pretty easy to to spot on. So I get props to that. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing a lot of posters that say Egg TV and Egg Nog. Yep, I guess Eggman sort of. Has an Eggman land, well, based on t t TV, uh, his own station, if you want to count that. Yeah, but he, he, he wants to make it like worldwide. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide here. Well, <laughs> well, hey, at least he's a, a he's achieving something, and there's him on a little cartoon style. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Ooh, look, Sega Sonic Popcorn Shop. Oh, uh, yep. I believe that's like, I believe that's like a, a mini game that help that it's like a mini game that makes popcorn at the same time or something. I don't know, it was pretty old, but... Yeah. And let's see, you got Eggnog in the background. I think you I think you pointed that out, actually. But... Yeah, I, I did. Eggnog's one of my favorite drinks. I just wish it wasn't, you know, seasonal. And for, for those of you wondering, I, I drink the non-alcoholic kind. I, I don't drink alcohol. Yeah. Well, would you ever try out Eggman's Eggnog? Mmm... Maybe, I don't know. That's a bit of a hard, hard decision. I don't, I don't know how good he is in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's made from Eggman, so I don't know if you could trust him on that, but... <laughs> yeah, but he's not really known to poison his cookie. He didn't do that to, profess to Professor Pickle in Sonic Unleashed. He at least fed him. Okay, at least... It, okay, he's not cruel, at least, so he doesn't kill people. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I, don't I mean, I, he didn't like the sandwich, but it wasn't poisonous, and he at least he fed... He feeds his prisoners. Yeah, so he's, Eggman's not... Eggman can be kind-hearted sometimes, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's funny, not cruel, and yet in one game he blows up half the moon to make a point. <laughs> well, that's the old <laughs> Eggman, but, well, I don't know, it's Eggman. No, yeah, I, 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 get, I get what you mean, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, well, anyways, here we've arrived in the fifth special, yeah, the fifth special stage, and here, this is where mm -hmm. it actually gets quite difficult, and this is... Yeah, this one, this one took me a few tries. And however, this is actually quite strategic as well, because there's some paths... Where it has the blue spheres and the rings, so you gotta decide: should I t should I get more speed, or should I get more time? Like it's 50-50, so you gotta think quickly. Mm. Yep. <sighs> but yeah, I the issue, do... issue I had with this one was that I, I kept falling off. Yeah, I really hate when I fall off of a special stage. I just, I just get so frustrated because losing in special in Sonic special stage overall, it just gets me really frustrated. Like. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Especially the falling off part, because it's like, oh, you still have time, but you fell off, so tough luck, sucker. <laughs> exactly. But at least there's some bumpers around to keep you in, but... Some... Yeah. Yeah, there's some holes here. But I believe on my run here, this actually took me a while, because, um... Because <clears throat> right here, yep. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> yep, I, I... Literally, it was... This... Here, when I was playing this, I had so much anxiety. Like I was so, just, I was so focused, cause, uh, yeah. cause you know, once you hit the, once you like, if you hit like a bomb or at least a spike, you lose at least ten rings and you lose, you lose time. So be careful. <laughs> mm, yep. And there's no way to slow down either. So, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's one of those where your speed can be used against you. Exactly. But at least I oh, got it. Oh, there you go. So, <laughs> so I got it overall. So uh, two more to go. So. Now, do you have anything to say about Studiopolis so far? 
for the first original stage in, in the game, and the, for the first one that they pretty much used a lot in the first trailer, it, it's a pretty good stage. It's it was pretty fun. Yeah, I agree. The music also nice too. It has some vocals into it when it says lights, camera, action. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Props to T Lopes for doing that. But what? <laughs> but what confuses me is that um, I, I T Lopes actually got an award for like being the best composer and arranger. Or at least, like, I think composer it, that's title, but... Like, I understand that he got the award. Like, I'm not mad about anything. I do agree. He does deserve it, because he actually does a fantastic job of the remixes and the original music, but... The thing is, when they when they didn't really, like, credit him as uh, as an arranger... Because I believe... I'm, no mu I'm no musician or anything, I'm, I, so correct me if I'm wrong, but... Don't, but don't arrangers, like, usually, like, arrange the, the original um, pers person's creation and then just slightly remix it or just change some things around with it but i w i want to know i'm not, not too familiar with those terms I, I don't know much about i don't have any kind of music i don't have that much music knowledge i just listen to music <laughs> yeah same but but the, but the thing is i, I feel like they should have at least credit uh, at least credited him as a ranger as well because he didn't like compose the complete soundtrack because the, because the remixes he done like with green hill chemical plant all that like the brought back zones he didn't he didn't create them himself he just Remix them, but mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm pointing this out. It's just in my mind, and it's just like I feel like they should just credit him as a ranger as well, because that's what he is also, because he arranged the music. But yeah, I agree. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. Anyways, I got off topic, but here this is another special thing that I've been. Um, yeah, I actually made a bit of, of a mistake earlier. This is the one I struggle with, not the previous one. And here, this one's actually. This gets more challenging because there's barely any walls to keep you safe, so you gotta... Exactly. This is the one I, I fell off of a lot, not the previous one. <laughs> so you gotta enjoy this um, Mario-like area, because all the mushrooms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, see. I literally just keep clutching in some cases. Like, oh, I almost choke. Just... Ooh, damn. <laughs> but... <clears throat> Yeah, at least the at least the off road slows you down, so it helps. But yeah, I'm just literally here, just trying to. I'm just literally here focusing. Just, just keep. But here, I think that's where I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Luckily, I cut corners. Now we see our one more to go. <laughs> six chaos emerald. <sighs> now. <clears throat> Now with all the Sega references, um, one thing I do like to point out that I do appreciate the team doing is that they usually put in some nice easter eggs or some nice visual detail that's like really appealing. But the disappointing part that this is a Sonic game and the reason why I say this is because you know Sonic's all about speed and all that and usually you can easily miss out on the nice details that they put in just for, you know, just for, just for the fun of it. But. Yeah, that's, that's a bit ironic actually that if you, if you want to enjoy the scenery in a Sonic game, you have to slow down and take your time and look at it, but most Sonic games are about, you know, going fast. Yep, basically. Especially with all the nice Easter eggs you see here. Like, I know earlier on, the, like, those little car, on, that, on that car or van that we took, it has a Hornet on it, and that basically, and that's basically a reference to the Hornet from Sega Daytona USA, I believe. And. Daytona! <laughs> oh, look, we encountered one of Eggman's first henchmen. It's one of the hard boned yep. heavies. Heavy Gunner. Now here, I gotta say one thing I gotta say about this boss. It reminds me mostly of Sonic Advance 2's um, bosses, where because they're usually automated. Mm, yeah, where you're, you're, where you're moving the whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But but yeah, this boss here is, is pretty easy. You just you just go for the um blue bullets and then just avoid the um red ones. Yep. Meanwhile, I'm just messing around here. Just um, I'm just drop dashing a lot. You know, I really like drop dashing. It's quite fun to do. Yeah, it is. But <clears throat> all right, there's just tails carrying Sonic. But uh, I always love messing on tails because you know you get to because you get to use the up A feature and then it has tails fly you everywhere. I really like. It's just I always love to use that for this section. Oh yeah, it's a, it's, it's, I'm glad they made it easier to do when you're playing by yourself because in game, other games like Sonic Three, you had to plug in a second controller to do the, that. Yeah, but I don't know how you're able to play with two controllers at, at once. So. Very carefully, I've done it a few times. <laughs> oh, what for? Uh, just, just cause, I, just cause I, I wanted to get somewhere and I wanted to, Tails to help me, but I wanted to play as Sonic. I see. 
<laughs> and it was one of those times I played the game so much I just wanted to fuck around. <laughs> yeah, I see. No, it's, it's, no, I don't blame you. It's fun to do that with, with games to replay if you got nothing else to do and if you're just bored. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, we took care of the first hard boiled heavy. <clears throat> Yay. It's a bit hard boiled, it's like we get it, your your name is Eggman. Yep. Hard boiled eggs. <laughs> hard boiled eggs are good though. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, God. And now we're in his studio, I, I, I assume. Cause look at yeah. yeah. <sighs> Where Egg TV is filmed. Yep. I would, I'd love to know his production. I'd like to see some of his shorts. But actually, <laughs> yeah. speaking of that, you know, Sonic Media Adventures actually got recently announced from the Sonic SXW thing. If you, yep. In case you guys do not know for some odd reason. It's also training on YouTube. Or it was. I'm not too sure right now, but... but it might have been when it was first announced. I don't think it is anymore, though. The, the trend thing's always changing. Exactly. But I'm honestly really excited to see um to see Sonic Media Adventures. I know it's gonna be like short five episodes of of animation, but it's better than nothing. I've been I've been wanting to see something like that for a while, so. <laughs> yeah, because the only animation we have right now is the is Sonic Boom. Like TV show or yeah, the TV show you're talking about, right? Yeah, TV show. Yeah. <laughs> this, this isn't gonna be a, close as like I said, it's only like five minutes shorts, but oh well, it's it's something different. Well, they didn't really confirm the length, but I assume it's gonna be five minutes, possibly. But yeah, that's what I, I think. That's what I've been reading, but yeah, I could be wrong. And here we've reached to the final special stage, oh, man. Which this one actually isn't that hard. <laughs> Ironically, you, you expect the final special stage to be like very difficult and more punishing, but no, it's just very laid back and relaxing. Exactly. Yeah, you think you know with each one it gets harder than the last, but this one is like okay, you got you got six, so you, and this is the last one. You just take it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> maybe that's how they felt. Maybe they don't want. Maybe they don't want to punish you too much. Like saying, okay, this guy worked hard. You know, they worked for six. I don't want them to make them suffer more. So I'll just give them a free emerald. Go ahead. Yeah. <sighs> People nowadays had it easier. Had it easy, if that makes yeah. In the earlier games, it was actually more difficult. I think Sonic, yeah, Sonic Two was actually more difficult with the seventh Emerald stage. But. Oh, oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, games these days are easy compared to games back in the day. Yeah, well, this game does there, have challenge. Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong, but for mm -hmm. cha for Chaos Emerald stages, I just the la the set last one is the easiest one in the series, maybe. <laughs> and now we can come Super Sonic. Sweet. Yay! And also, one thing I want to do want to point out is um, also Sonic Mania Plus. Now, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting like like I was a little fifty fifty because Sega said they didn't really they said they weren't they weren't planning any DLC or any add ons. But then again, it's Sega, but they get, they sometimes uh, keep secrets. I was surprised to see that too. I did not think this game would be getting DLC. Yeah, so far I don't think they revealed any zones. But however. They're actually bringing back Mighty and Ray, which is really surprising. Holy crap! Some very old characters. <laughs> like, okay, to be honest, I, like, like I said, I haven't really grown up with the original Sonic Genesis, like at that time. So I don't know if there's any actual Mighty and Ray fans, but that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> it's mostly for people who played the arcade uh, Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, because that's that's the game they were in. And I think, well, one of them in Knuckles Chaotix. Yeah, it was Mighty. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. But I believe Mighty was also was going to be an original um, prototype design of Sonic, I believe. Or at least Armadillo was going to be one of the um, original ideas. for. Yeah, they did have a few ideas for um, the main character before they decided on Sonic. Hell, at one point I think even Eggman was going to be the main character, but his, his name was different. Yeah, he was wearing, I know that he was wearing pajamas at the, as a yeah, prototype. Exactly, yeah. Well, speaking of Eggman, he's here. I wonder what's new on Egg TV. <laughs> ah, it's the Weather Channel. Uh, currently, it's really. So I swear, if it's 520, I'm no, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure that if it's this high, you'll die. But if it's, <laughs> I'm just saying. But... Yeah. <laughs> if it go, if it goes for Fahrenheit, but for, from what I've seen, it is. But I easily dominated the um boss it's already. So. <clears throat> yeah. Thanks to Tails' tails, can be quite powerful sometimes. Mm-hmm. 
And overall, we have completed Studiopolis. So that was a fun experience. We get to talk briefly about um, Sonic Mania Plus and Sonic Mania Adventures, so that's cool. Oh, breaking news. Flying Battery returns. Ah, sure, it's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Well, anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoy this. Studiopolis was fun overall. I do appreciate the effort and creativity that they put in into this and I really love Act 2's music as well. It's like my favorite variant of the um, Studiopolis theme. I prefer that over the first one so please don't at me. <laughs> <laughs> what well, 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 do people like Act 1 better? Yeah 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 it was like really popular like most people like really dig Act 1 especially when it was like first revealed since Sega revealed some since they actually oh, like, yeah. gave like sneak peek um, music like early on just as a preview but yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. I think Act Two does have the better um, music. Yeah. See, come on. Are you got, I, I don't. I don't know what the opinions are. Like, I assume that Act One's more. I don't know. I have to go check back. Yeah, don't don't at me either, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned for Flying Battery. So we're gonna be high up in the skies. So I'll see you guys there. See you guys.